Ah, another beautiful day in the land of 10,000 lakes. Our lakes, rivers, and streams are one of the many things that make Minnesota special. And that's why it's important that we take good care of them so everyone can enjoy them, including fish like me. Did you know that rainwater and snowmelt that flows from city streets into our storm sewer system eventually drains into nearby ponds, lakes, and rivers without being treated? This means that anything on the streets, sidewalks, alleys, and driveways is carried to a storm drain and ends up polluting our waterways. This type of pollution is known as illicit discharge. Illicit discharge introduces bacteria, fertilizer, dirt, motor oils, and other contaminants into the water, which can harm aquatic life and reduce the overall quality of the water. Join me on my swim today to learn how to prevent an illicit discharge so we can protect the bodies of water we treasure. You can probably guess some of the common types of illicit discharges. Things like litter, motor oil, pet waste, soaps, and pesticides or fertilizers are all things you wouldn't want dumped in a lake, but could easily get carried away with storm water if you're not careful. Some lesser known types of illicit discharge that are just as common are road salt and yard waste. Although salt is commonly used for de-icing, high amounts in our waters can kill freshwater plants and animals and encourage invasive species. And yard waste, although natural, can pollute our waters too. When it decomposes, it steals the water's oxygen that aquatic life depends on and acts like a fertilizer that fuels algae growth. Now that we know how to spot an illicit discharge, let's talk about how we can prevent it in the first place. Keep storm drains and the areas around them free and clear of any debris. Blow leaves and grass clippings onto grassy areas or sweep them up. Pick up after your pets. Always throw trash in the bin and if you see litter, pick it up. When washing your car at home, make sure the soapy water runs onto your lawn and not the street. Remove snow and ice from roads, driveways, and sidewalks before salting. When road salt is necessary, apply it sparingly and sweep up any remaining salt once the ice has melted. And if it's colder than 15 degrees, salt can't melt the ice, so swap it out for sand. Finally, if you spot an illicit discharge, intervene. If you are comfortable and have the right resources available, try to contain the discharge. Report the case to your city if it doesn't seem like an immediate danger and is stationary. When reporting the illicit discharge, it's important to provide documentation of your observations and any actions that you've taken. Take a photo of the illicit discharge and note the date, time, and address of where it's occurring with as much detail as possible so it's easy to locate and address quickly. Call 911 if it seems like a danger to public safety or property or is active and flowing. By working together, we can protect the lakes, rivers, and streams that we love, so we can continue enjoying them for years to come. Start protecting our waters today. Visit your city or county's website to find out how you can get involved.